In this video, I'll show you how to get started with the DevExpress Combo Box for Blazor. A Combo Box component displays a drop-down window with a list of items. Users can select an item from the list and type text in the input to filter list items that contain the search string. Users can also use the keyboard to navigate between items and select them. I've already created a Blazor application that is configured to use DevExpress components. The at code block contains declarations for sample data. The type person includes a set of properties, ID, first name, last name, department, and summary. The staff class has a data source method that retrieves a list of demo objects. Now I add a DX combo box to the page and set the data property to bind the combo box to the data source. Then I specify the at bind value attribute to bind the editor value to the selected person field. I also need to set the text field name property. It specifies the name of the data source field that stores text for the combo box items. In my case, it's summary. If the text field name property is not specified, the editor searches for a field named text in the data source and displays this field's values as item text. Okay, run the app. The combo box's edit box displays the selected person's text. In our case, it's the first object in the data source. The drop-down window displays a list of predefined items. These are the summary field values. Now I want to add a clear button to the combo box. I switch back to VS and set the clear button display mode to auto. In this mode, the editor displays the clear button when the input box is not empty. I also specify a prompt text displayed when the editor value is null. Let's run the app. Now a user can easily clear the selected item. The DevExpress Blazor combo box can search for text within the list and apply filters to the data source. To enable search mode, set the search mode property and specify a search condition. For example, contains. Okay, let's run the app. First, I clear the edit box, and then I can type text to filter list items that contain this string. There are two items that match that search string. To help you deliver the best possible user experience, the DevExpress Blazor Combo Box allows you to organize drop-down list items into groups. I go back to VS and set the group field name property to person department. Let's view the changes. The Combo Box organized data items into groups based on the department data source field. Values from this field have appeared within group headers motors, electronics, and software. As I've already shown the group data feature, I'll remove this property. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to disable individual items within the dropdown list. The person class has a Boolean field on vacation. This field is set to true for two people, Samantha Bright and Edward Holmes. Now I set the combo box's disabled field name property to person on vacation. As you can see, the disabled item is grayed out and cannot be focused and selected. The Blazor Combo Box component contains templates that allow you to customize the appearance of the edit box and items. For example, you can use the item display template to customize item appearance in the dropdown list. I add two div elements to the template. The first div displays the full name. The second displays the department name. I also apply a custom class to this div. I declare this class in the style block. And let's run the app. As you can see, the drop down list shows items in a card like view. You can also add icons to the template or customize items as your needs dictate. For more information about templates, view our Blazor combo box demos. I'll leave a link to them in the video summary. And that's it for this video. If you liked it, please leave us a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please comment below. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell if you want to get notified whenever we release new content. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.